is a very brief synopsis of travels around the world. And uh, you can see throughout all of this that it's possible to see the world. And the main thing that I would want to show through all of this is to challenge each person not to limit themselves. Don't limit yourself to one place, one space, because then you get um, one point of view. But the more that you go out into the world, the more that you see of the world, the more that you enjoy of the world, you see the things that have been built, the things that have been created, the natural resources everywhere, the natural beauty of uh, the mountains, the valleys, the, the animals, uh, the snow, the desert, whether you're in the Alps or you're on the Sahara, you see the beauty in all of these places. And uh, I would think that for you, a person to get a real view of the world, they have to go beyond where they are to actually see what it is. Um, I'm reminded of the, the story at the end of the book about the men who were, the blind men who were feeling an elephant for the first time trying to decide what the animal was actually like and they were all at a different part of the elephant and one of them thought that the whole elephant was like the trunk. One thought it was like the ears, one thought it was like the tail, one thought it was like the, the hefty legs. Uh, so if you don't get a broader picture of the whole, you're limited to just uh, coming to a conclusion just on one aspect. And the same thing happens in the world. If we limit ourselves to one city, one state, one country, then we've limited the world. We've limited ourselves to really understanding anything about the world. Uh, if the only information we get is from the media, you're missing it. The beauty of the world is the world. It's not what you see or hear through the media. And it, it's not even what you get a glimpse of through this book. But hopefully, sometimes getting a glimpse of something causes a person to get a hunger for it. You get a glimpse, sometimes you get a glimpse of a plate of food and say, ooh, that's what I would like to have. And so when you get a glimpse of some of these places, uh, you might say, ooh, that's where I would like to go, or that's something I would like to do, or I never thought of doing something like that before. Maybe I will. So uh, don't limit yourselves. Just go beyond what you think you can. Uh, we started in one country. Of course, it was kind of strange that after we had been to several places in our own country, that the first one out of our country would be Kenya. I don't know why we chose Kenya to begin with. It just sounded wonderful. And uh, that was the beginning not only of a, a safari in Kenya, but it was the beginning of our safari of the world. So we had a wonderful time. And, and it was so much like a storybook. <laughs>